بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد يا حبيب في الله purifying ourselves and our souls is one of the most important aspects of Islam and that's true tawhid that's manifesting true tawhid when there's an effect on our deeds and our amal that's iman iman billah because if you just know the categories of tawhid for example you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the lord of all things and he created all things and he provides for everything and you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship and you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has divine names and attributes having that knowledge in and of itself without practicing is not sufficient and the ulama have written volumes and the nusus illustrate that for us that we need to have actions with our iman and our iman should have thamarat it should have uh, fruits and with that we have to i remind myself and my brothers and sisters that the purpose of talib al-ilm who islah nafs wa tasqiyatha wa tashi wa tahsil ziyadat al-iman wa laysa mujarrad ma'rufat al-masail very important ibara that seeking knowledge is to purify oneself and to rectify a person's conditions or affair and to increase a person's iman and it is not just for the sake of knowing and understanding issues and masail or to refute other people or to gossip qil wa qal to to relate tales about others about what you've heard and spread it nor is it to prop yourself up to say that you are a learned person and in regards to this we have the hadith an jundub an jundub ibn an jundub ibn abdillah radiyallahu ta'ala anhu qala kunna ma' nabiy sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa nahnu fatiyan hayza haizawira fata'allamna al-iman قبل أن نتعلم القرآن ثم تعلمنا القرآن فازدادنا به إيمانا This is a beautiful hadith of Jundub ibn Abdullah رضي الله تعالى عنه He said We were with the Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم And we used to And we were very young boys Who had not reached puberty yet and we learned about iman we learned faith before we learned the quran and we learned the quran and increased our iman letting us know that part of learning iman was even before the quran before they learned the quran they learned aqidah they learned uh, those things which would increase them in their their limited practice that even before they were learning the Quran itself they were learning manners from the messenger of Allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and learning those important matters then when they began to learn the Quran it increased them in iman and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq and bless us with understanding bless us with ilm and nafia wa rizqan tayyib wa amalan mutaqabbilan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam